All right, P3-26, we have the uh, the cylinder on the, uh, the right plane. If we place it at the origin, then we do have a pretty good indication that there is the depth. These, uh, these two notches are not uh, symmetrical. So 10 millimeters off of the center line, 10 millimeters off of the edge. All right, and then we have 15 millimeters deep by four places on the 10 millimeters. That one's kind of hard to, to decipher, so. Ten millimeters back, ten millimeters up, and then the slot is twelve deep from the center line. Uh, I still have to make the um, the guess or the assumption that that um, that width or that depth is uh, is correct. So without a, a length, it doesn't really look like it's the same as the the twenty millimeters. Kind of hard to tell if that's the the ten, and then we're picking it up. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the uh, the ten, but that's gonna be another one of those I'm gonna want to verify and make sure that when it gets into the assembly, we're creating the uh, the correct geometry. So opening a sketch on the right plane, we'll generate our circle, put in the uh, diameter of forty, and I want to extrude this from the uh, from the right plane, we're going to give it a direction of mid plane, and then its overall will be 80 millimeters. For our end geometry, let's uh, divide this up, so the front plane. And I know that I'm going to be mirroring across um, both, both axes. So I'll go ahead and put in the horizontal and the vertical. And we'll just do a quick check that it is uh, both were defined. All right, so 10 millimeters on the width. Okay, we'll try 10 this time. And its depth is 15 millimeters on the um, on the slot in four places. Okay, and then we will pick up that geometry and mirror. And probably would have been easier to uh, go vertical first, but let's uh, select left to right and then control select the horizontal to mirror across those axes. And when I perform the cut, I'll make sure that we have a through all in condition which gets half of the part because we're at the center of the um, of the cylinder and a through all in direction two will complete the cut. Okay, going into the front plane again and I think uh, dimension wise we could draw in the right plane and extrude uh, front to back but without without those numbers it's already um, uh, complicated enough. All right, so we're coincident to the uh, to the top of the cylinder, but I would like to find that silhouette edge again. So if I select the midpoint and drag along until I see that cylinder with a line through it, then I can make that the midpoint. All right, and that establishes my symmetry so that I can apply the 20 millimeter from the edge. All right, and then this depth becomes uh, 10 millimeters. For, for its depth. Okay, and then we had 10 millimeters off of the other side. Now let's go for that silhouette edge again. So select midpoint, dragging until I see the cylinder with the line through it for the silhouette edge, and then we pick up the midpoint. Right, and then it uh, has the note that this slot is 12 millimeters deep and 12 deep from center line. So let's um, undo that. 
and I'll go back. Uh, we can go to the origin and to our geometry and get the 12 millimeters. All right, so for the depth then, to get to a radius of 20, then of course that would be 8 millimeters. All right, so the extrude cut will cut through all, and this time I'm just going to do through all both. So if we didn't do through all um, for direction 1 and didn't do direction 2, it would only go one way. So through all both is um, going to be, uh, be our pick. And then this width is 34.64, and we're given a dimension of 17 from the inside edge. Well, part of the problem with that dimension is that um, there's no way to pick up this edge and get a perpendicular hole. So uh, we would be doing a calculation to touch off, come over some uh, theoretical distance to this edge and then to the center. So since it's close enough to center, um, what did we get on that? 13 or 34.64. We divide that in 2.32 is less than half a millimeter, so somewhere around 15 thousandths. Um, yeah, that's still still a little bit of an issue. I'm going to take the designer's guess that it's at the center point. And so produce the uh, the circle, put it at the origin. And then I have something that I can uh, that I can work with. All right, features extrude cut, and let's just go through all and accept. So this would be a, a question mark. That 0.64 millimeters could be, or the 0.32 millimeters off of center could be something of uh, of interest. That would be 0.64. Anyway, <laughs> that distance could be of some interest um, that we would have to uh, to account for. So I um, I want to keep that in the other uh, frame of reference for this part. All right, we'll save this and move on to the next one.